What's up my beautiful crafters? I am Annette and welcome to Crafting Club. Today in the club, we are doing an Easter bunny. You guys know Easter is coming up. And so we want to do uh, something a little different, um, but not really a little different because a lot of people have been doing it, but I'm going to do the bunny where we don't see the stitching on the back side of the bunny and we're not going to make it super difficult or difficult at all to do it. We're going to have to do some sewing though because we're going to unrip the bunny, do our embroidery, stitch it back together. So let's go ahead and hoop this teddy bear real quick. So this is my mighty hoop. I think this is an eight, eight by eight by six, I think. 8.8 .8 by six. Okay. This is a sticky back end. So I'm going to hoop this. I didn't take the, the peel off. Okay. And I'm going to hoop Not too much because you don't want to, you know, bore into it. You just want to scotch it enough to pick this, um, to peel this, this stuff in off, right? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to use a seam ripper. I'm going to rip this, rip the beer. Yeah, it just gives it a more a finish, a more finished look. And like I said, any craft that you make, especially if you're trying to sell it, you want to be able to, you know, you know, charge the most or as much as you can. And I find like when you, it's a little more work, but when you rip this thing and you um, put it back together, it's a more finished look. So we're gonna stop it right over there.
Okay guys, so we have stitched out the bunny and we are about to take it off the hoop. One thing that I did not mention earlier is that once you stitch out your bunny, you want to put a piece of salvi at the top. Now salvi is uh, a piece of backing or topping that is water soluble, right? So once you use in, um, once you're stitching on fleece or toweling, those type of material, you want to use your topping salvi on it so that your stitches don't pound into or get lost into your fabric. So basically, we are turning the A inside out, inside out. So I'm going to go ahead and pin this all the way around and I'll be back at this point you can pause the video and pin all the way around leaving a slight opening at the bottom right here so I'm gonna stitch from here all the way around or from here to where this pin is okay okay guys so here we are the finished bunny right cute 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 so this is an easy way that i found to stitch on a bunny ear and that way your bunny ear is falling exactly the same so if you take the whole ear off sometimes you put it on a little differently this way is the same right and you're not stitching through the back so have fun crafting See you inside the club.